hello everyone and welcome back to my channel as you can see from the title it's another summertime cleaning list and today we're going to be focusing on the laundry so what to do when it's summer the laundry edition join me today for some top tips and also some lots of cleaning motivation so join me today so we are currently going through a heat wave in the uk and this is perfect for people like me who love to get their laundry done in the sun and you know that it's going to dry within no time. So I've decided to do the hardest things first, so stuff like my duvets, um, because, you know, think about it, how often, when was the last time you actually cleaned your duvet or washed your duvet and literally hung it outside, including your mattress protectors? I think this is like the perfect time to get them all done is things like this you know they do collect quite a lot of sweat dust all of the other bad stuff that's not good for you but if you clean them regularly but today because it's a heat wave i thought perfect time to get those done and also curtains do not forget your curtains get those done as well and um so this has been bag as well that's been needing a little bit tlc i got that done as well because it's gonna dry in no time so just a quick area with a towel and um yeah and if you've got any hand washing things that just need you to hand wash rather than chuck them in the washing machine which mine is currently very busy at the moment i decided to hand wash a few garments that really did specify to hand wash and they will also dry in no time so i'm having a really good day with all this laundry but i also came across my trainers and i realized these also needed a quick clean um but why not do them outside in the sun with a brush it's only when I was after I finished doing them I realized I could have taken out the laces and um, done them another time well separately should I say but I kept the laces on and I just did a quick brush because I realized the sun's gonna be going down soon and I just want to get them done so that by tomorrow I can wear them and go out with them so I'm really trying to do so many things whilst it's really really hot also a top tip I did not do this in one day so this this is split between three days because you know i also want to enjoy the time out with family and enjoy it with my friends so um i did split some of the tasks within three days so i'm just using a detergent and some brush and a brush just to clean the trainers is what i would normally do in the washing machine difference is i'm using my hands and i'm just going to rinse it off and hopefully leave it all to dry please give this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying the content and let me know in the comment section below if you've been doing a lot of laundry during the heat wave and let me know what you guys have been doing if i missed anything and this is me just drying the trainers so i'm really impressed with the amount of things that i managed to achieve here is a top tip to do your pillows so ideally you should wash your pillows every three to six months to keep the pillows fresh hygienic and, and to prevent all the dust mites and stuff so quick tip is to wash your pillows wash two at a time to balance you know the washing machine and keep the pillowcases on this you know prevents the pillows from like ripping or anything whilst they're inside so a pillowcase or pillow protector you put them in the washing machine to avoid them to rip and two of them like i said inside will balance out in the washing machine and then you can use your normal detergent but then just replace the fabric softener with vinegar to keep the pillows fluffy and it, it neutralizes any odd and use the delicate cycle and also add an extra spin in the wash to speed up the drying process and then um you, this will also you know make sure that your pillows are drying faster by the time you take them out to dry which is what i'm yeah. doing with mine right here and leaving them out to dry in the sun prevents you know um, bacteria and mold growing so they're going to fully dry out in the sun and as you can see i've got a line off my duvets and mattress protectors and i've also done the same thing with some cushions that were in the living room so you can repeat the same process like i said on pillows and on also cushions and look at the amount of laundry that you would have had done i literally spent like i said three days getting this done and i also included coats so my winter coats autumn coats and um jumpers woolen jumpers i literally did everything because i don't know i just felt like why not utilize the time um that i've got and get ready for winter so i've got a coat right here um i've got all the pillows they're all out drying i've also got a throw 
that also needed to be done so i washed those i've got hats <laughs> gloves and this was probably dry within you know two hours tops and i was so happy with that especially the throw which i was really worried about but within two three hours it was actually done the top part was done as you can see right here the little bit of water was left but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you are enjoying the content until next time you guys have a lovely day and i will see you right soon bye